find the area of quadrilateral ABCD in the following figure. You are watching Brain Explorers, the world where brain starts working. We will use mainly two important properties in our question. Here is the first one. If two sides of a triangle are given x and y and angle between them is theta, then area of triangle is equal to half xy sin theta. Here is the second property. If a chord of a circle subtend two different angles on the same side on any two points of the same circle, then both of these angles are equal. So if first one is theta, then second one is also theta. Using this property, we can say that if angle RPQ is theta, then angle RSQ is also theta. In our question, it is given that angle RPQ and angle RPS are equal. So angle RPS can be taken as theta and from here angle RQS is also theta. Since two angles of triangle RSQ are same, it means it is an isosceles triangle. Hence, SR is equal to RQ. It implies that SR square is also equal to RQ square. If SP is equal to B, PQ is equal to C and PR is equal to A, then SR square can be written as B square plus A square minus 2AB cos theta. And R square can be written as A square plus C square minus 2AC cos theta. A square gets cancelled from both sides. On rearranging the terms, we get A equals to B plus C over 2 cos theta. Now, area of quadrilateral PQRS is equal to area of triangle PRS plus area of triangle PRQ. We can write area of triangle PRS equals to half AB sin theta and area of triangle PRQ equals to half AC sin theta. We can take half A sin theta as common. Now put the value of A in terms of B, C and cos theta. <coughs> we get area of triangle PQRS equals to 1 over 4 times B plus C whole square times tan theta. In the given question, B is equal to 10 centimeters, C is equal to 6 centimeters and theta is equal to 30 degrees. On putting these values, we get area of quadrilateral ABCD is equal to 64 root 3 over 3 centimeters squares. This was our solution. Let's move to our another question. In the following figure, ABC and DEF are equilateral triangles and some of the other equal line segments are marked. Find the ratio of area A2 and A1. Try this question and send us your solution and if you have any question like this then please share with us. Don't forget to like and share our video and for more such videos subscribe to our channel Brain Exploders. Thanks for watching.